Hello everyone, before we watch today's video, I would like to draw your attention to Energy of Rebirth, who are desperately requesting donations to raise money to buy two cars to help with emergency evacuations in Bakhmut. All support will be greatly appreciated. We're already at 50% of what we're after, so one big final push should get them there. So this video shows the destruction of a Russian counter-battery radar on a roof amidst a variety of other antennas and equipment. Some of this may be civilian, some of it may be military, I'm not sure. But amidst the normal looking dishes and masts is an Eisteryok counter-battery radar. The observing drone, by the way, is a Lelica. Other than the interesting and important target, also of interest is a pretty large boom. I'm not sure what munition caused it, but it looks certainly to be bigger than the typical artillery we see. Even bigger than, say, Excalibur. I wonder if this may have been guided air to ground missile, or, dare I say it, JDAM. Highlighted here are the objects of note. So, a rotating radar dish, and then a circular array of equipment around a small receiver or radar. I'm not sure what the one the right is, but the left hand side one is this. An Isteonok counter battery radar, which can detect moving ground targets at a distance of 20 kilometers, mortar positions at a range of 5 kilometers, the adjustment of artillery fire from 5 to 15 kilometers, depending on the conditions. Or at least, that's what Russia claims. So likely, take away a few kilometers from those ranges, and it's likely a more accurate description of its capabilities. Actually, just as likely, it just spins around and looks cool, if most of Russia's other equipment is anything to go by. So this took place in this compound here, in the tower highlighted. Given the size of the compound and its isolated position, I can't help but wonder if the other buildings here are used by Russia too. Definitely an area worth keeping an eye on. Zoomed out we can see this is in Zaporizhia district, and if we turn to deep states, this is on the southern front, quite close to the front lines and well within range of many possible munitions. Though given the big boom, it's something a bit more unusual than the standard Excalibur I think. So that's it for this video, if you found it interesting please click like and subscribe, I'd appreciate it. Thanks again and take care everybody.